Good morning, brothers and sisters. I want to bring you a Sunday morning word today. We'll be coming from Exodus, the 14th chapter, reading the 13th and the 14th verse. And it reads, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will shew you today. For the Egyptian whom you have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. For a title today, my brother says, I want to say trap with nowhere to turn but to the Lord. Trap with nowhere to turn but to the Lord. Today in our text today, we see Moses as he's dealing with this issue that's coming up against the children of Israel. They are being pursued by the Pharaoh's army and Pharaoh is out to get them. And now God has led them to a place where they feel they are trapped on every side. Pharaoh is coming to their rear. They got mountains to the left and the right and a big old sea that's in front of them. They're screaming out to Moses saying, what are we to do? What are we to do in this situation? It would have been better for us to have stayed in, in Egypt, better for us to have stayed as prisoners, as slaves, as oppressed people in the land of Egypt. And brothers and sisters, don't that feel like today? Don't we feel like because this pandemic, everything that's coming up against us, we feel like we are trapped on every side? Seems that there's nowhere for us to turn. Seems like every time we may think we may be getting a little bit of ground, things seem to always come against us. And I want to be just like Moses today. I want to encourage you just like Moses encouraged the people then as he told them, do not be afraid. Do not fear. Right now you're going through a situation. I know you're, you're scared. I know you see trouble on every side. You see death angel coming up in the rear. And I'm telling you right now today, my brother and sister, is do not be afraid. I don't want you to be fearful. Fearful because God did not give us a spirit of fear. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but he gave us a spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. And if we use that big three right there, if we use the power that God has given us, we can use the love that God has given us, and you give use that sound mind that God has given us, we too can do a great thing in, in this season. Yes, my brothers and sisters, right now, fear is the thing that can go in and cripple our faith. Fear is the thing that goes in and cancel and out our faith. And God is saying, I know you're caught up in a situation. I know you're caught up in a, in, a, in a bad predicament, but I want you to trust me. Don't rely on your ways. Don't lean onto your own understanding, but lean and trust in me. Allow me to pull you through this situation. Yes, we're going through some things. Yes, we're having some situations that happen to us, but this here too, my brother and sister, shall pass. If we put our faith in the Lord and do like Moses says, do not be afraid. I Yes, I know there are things that are unknown are going on around you right now, my brother and sister, but right now we got a God who can see right now, not only now, but also in the future. If we can just put our trust in him, for him to lead us into a path of righteousness for his name's sake. Lead us to a path of healing for his name's sake. Lead us to the promised land for his name's sake. Get us up out of this situation. Get us up out of this problem. We too can allow God to move in a mighty way. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I know that sometimes our way may not be easy. I know sometimes the days may be long, the days may be hard, and things may be coming against us, but God can use a situation to bring us closer to him. And I don't know if this is one of those things, one of those times, but I can say this right here. If we would just hold on to God's unchanging hand, if we would just hold on to God and allow God to be our light, allow God to lead us and guide us, and we too, like I said, can make it through this situation. Situation. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I want to show you right here in this here lesson today. There are there are many great things that we can take and glean from this from this lesson today. As we look at this here, God is telling us, do not be afraid. But what is he telling us? He's saying we need to stand firm and see the deliverance that God can bring. I want to tell you right now, my brothers, God has the whole world still in his hands. He has the whole world in his hands. Even this pandemic is in God's hands and in God's perfect timing. God can make a way out of no way, but we just probably need to come together. He said, well, two or three come together, touching in the green, he will be in the midst. Right now is our season to come together. It's our season to come together, touch and agree. Come together praying. Come together fasting together. Come together seeking his face. Come together trying to get closer to him and allow God to show us the way out of this here pandemic. Allow God to show us the way out of this here man. He says it. Notice that last part. He says, God will deliver you this day. 
Yes, my brother, sister, yes, the pandemic can be around you. But if God's hedge of protection is around you, the pandemic can't get in. So I'm praying right now today, my brother, sister, that you be covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. You be covered with that hedge of protection. You be covered from head to toe because God can cover you to even though hell is all around you. God can keep you in the peace of his arms. He can keep you close underneath his wings. He can bring us to a place where we can just trust in him and know that he got our back. That's the thing I love about God. God has told us and showed us throughout the Bible. He says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Sometimes we got to just stand still. Sometimes we got to let God do what God does and just trust God in the process that God, you're going to make a way out of no way. You're going to bring us through a mighty long from a mighty long way. You're going to work and fight our battles for sometimes we got to let God do what God does. He says in that last place, he said, the Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. And I want to encourage somebody today that even though this pandemic is around the world today, even though it's here today, when God deals with it, when God puts you in his loving hand of protection, when God secures you like no other security system can take care of you, God, you will never see this pandemic affect you and your loved ones again. All we need to do is get underneath God's umbrella, God's umbrella of protection, God's insurance plan. If we can get on God's insurance plan, then we are guaranteed salvation in the end. They said, Moses, when he said, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. See, sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we are afraid. And because of, our, of that fear, it's hard for us to be still. Sometimes with that fear, it causes us to wander around. We feel like we, we, we got to do something ourselves in order to make this situation better. But sometimes God wants us just to be still and know that he's God. Be still and know that God can pull us through. Oh, yes, my brothers, sometimes I need to stand firm on the promises of God. I need to stand firm on the word of God. I need to stand firm in the faith of God. I need to stand firm that knowing that God's going to fight my battle. I need to stand firm to know that God is going to never leave me nor forsake me. I need to stand firm as I put my hands to the plow and get ready for serve. I need to stand firm in my prayer life. I need to stand firm in my life devotion to God. I need to stand firm in my reading of my word. I need to stand firm with my family behind my back, covering them in prayer. I need to stand firm despite the fears that are going on, despite the situation that is happening around, we need to stand firm. We need to choose to stand firm for the Lord, knowing just like the three Hebrew boys, even if God does not do it, we know that he's able. They were willing to stand on faith that irregardless of the situation that was going on around them, they will trust their God to bring them through. We need to stand still, being still and knowing that God is going to work it out on our behalf and let God move in our lives. We must move, like I say, and allow God to, to do what God needs to do. If we go in and stop looking to every situation that we want in the world and uh, the, the government and, and, and the leaders to bring us through, we need to look up, look up to the hills from which cometh our help. Look up to the place where God is telling us right now, I am your salvation. I am your way maker. I am your beard bridge over troubled trouble water. If we would just look up and not have a spirit of fear. Yes, my brothers, I understand it's difficult for some when you're dealing with the unknown, but that's where faith comes in. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It is putting complete trust and a faithful God. And I'm asking you today, don't have the spirit of fear, but have the power of love, the power of a sound mind, the power of faith, the power to trust God, the power to hold on to God's unchanging hand. If we would just do it God's way, if we would just come underneath the insurance umbrella of God and hold on to God, God can hold on to us and allow us to be pulled through these desperate times. Yes, my brothers and sisters, again, I know we're dealing with a real-life pandemic, but I am 
willing to trust in God. I'm asking each and every believer under the sound of my voice, trust God in this situation. Trust God during these times. Trust him with everything you got. Be like Moses said, don't fear. Don't fear what's going on around you. Don't fear because you're trapped on every side. Don't fear because it seems like there's no corner to turn. Don't fear. Just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord that he's willing to show us this day. And if we can just allow that to happen, God will fight for us. And we can hold our peace. And this here too, pandemic, just like the Egyptians, we will never see again. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters. I pray right now that God's favor will fall upon you. That he will hold you in his hands. That even though, like I say, times may seem difficult, you would just trust and hold God to what God says. Lord, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. You said, mess not with my anointing and do my prophets no harm. You said, Father God, if I will put my hand in your hand, you will be my battle axe, you will be my protector, my shield, my fortress, You will be everything that I I need because you are the great I am. And now, Father God, we need you in this place. We need you in this day and time. Show up and show out. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Until next week, same time, same channel, be blessed. Amen.